good things have a bad side You spend your time Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is one that I have been waiting so long to finally share with you guys. It took us a while to kind of get the final pieces done, but we are finally sharing Remy's nursery. Um, for her nursery, I wanted to keep things very neutral and light and bright and um, just have a few cute moments, but otherwise just keep it very clean. And I love her room so much. It's my favorite room in our house and I feel like we all just come in here and sit even though she doesn't use this room for anything right now. But um, what I'm gonna do is just kind of walk around the room and if there's anything that I know where it's from, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, everything will be in the description below if you're curious. So I think we just kind of walk around the room and I'll show you guys around. Okay, so right away when you come into the room, we have her dresser and changing table. We did kind of a combination just because this room isn't super big, but right away we have her little, um, uh, what is this called? <laughs> Laundry basket, it's from Pottery Barn. I think it's so cute. I feel like eventually I could change it into um, like a toy basket or something like that, but I just thought it was super cute and had a lid so you can't really see any of her dirty laundry. Um, but then over here, this is her dresser and her dresser and her crib are from the same line at Crate and Barrel. Um, I loved it so much and what I love about this dresser is when she is bigger and we change her into like a big girl bed I can find a bed that matches this and it still doesn't look like a super baby dresser it, I feel like she'll be able to grow into this and have it for a really long time um, and then for her changing table we just use this little basket that is from anthropology and it has a little changing pad inside that's washable and I just thought it was really cute. Um, it does slide a lot, so if you do get one of these, we bought this little rubber mat to go under it just for safety reasons. And then this mirror is just from Target. I feel like so many people have it, but it's just a really nice, it's cute and simple. So we got that at Target. So some of the smaller stuff over here, this lamp is from Target as well. I have this little gold tray that's from West Elm. Just some like baby oil, her hairbrush, and then this print, which I think is so cute. And for some reason reminded me of what I think her personality will be. Like kind of shy, but also just like a little silly. It's at least like what I've always pictured her being like. So I found that on Society6 and printed it out and then got the frame from Frame It Easy. And then this pink frame is from Target and I just used some of the wallpaper that I'll show you across the room just for now. I think I'll eventually put one of her newborn photos in there. And that is kind of this main area of her dresser. Right, so then moving on, we have her rocking chair and a little poof. Even though this room is small, it was still important that we had a nice size rocking chair just because we figured we would be in here a lot like rocking her and just kind of hanging out. So we got this really soft cushioned um, chair that we love so much. And then I thought this poof was super cute and kind of fun. And then just a little side table to hold, you know, books or also like if we have our phone or our water or something, we wanted a little side table. So we got that. And then moving on is kind of like the main part of her room. So her crib. So let's walk over there. I did want to quickly talk about the rug just because I have had quite a few questions about it. It's from Rugs USA and I got it pretty big just because... I didn't love the color of the carpet in this room, so I wanted it to cover most of the space, but um, it's just a really chunky knit rug, which I think is so cute. All right, moving on to this wall, which is definitely my favorite part of the room. I think it turned out so cute. We have these curtains that I got from Amazon, and then this little brass mobile that we got as a gift from my brother and sister-in-law. It's a little um, hummingbird uh, mobile, which I think is so cute and just fit her room perfectly. And then the wallpaper, which is definitely my favorite part of this entire room, is from Riley and Crew. I think I got it from Lulu in Georgia, but the designer is Riley and Crew, and I love that company so much and just thought the wallpaper was so fun and love it. 
All right, so this next piece we got made from Etsy. Uh, this was what we were waiting on because we could not figure out what we were gonna name her. We named her literally the night before I went into labor, we finally decided. So it took us a while to get this piece made, um, but I love it and I just think it's so cute. Again, something that I think she'll be able to have in her room for many years, not just in her nursery. So we got that from Etsy. The frame is from Frame It Easy. Basically any frame that I get made is from that website. It's so nice. And then moving on to her crib, which I love so much. It's from Crate and Barrel. I just loved it because I loved the arches. I thought it was really unique and I love that it's wooden. I just feel like it's kind of timeless. My mom actually had a crib that looked so similar for me when I was a baby. So I just thought that was kind of cool that they were so similar. Um, and then inside of her crib, we just have a blush, um, blush sheet that is from Parachute. It's like a little linen um, sheet, which I think is so pretty. And then just some cute little pillows, some of her little um, little like stuffed animals, which I think are super cute. And then here is her baby blanket, which is also from um, Parachute, which I think is so pretty. Okay, so then coming over to this wall, we did a little bookshelf and kind of clothing rack wall, which I think turned out super cute. So these bookshelves are just from Ikea. We got three of them. The top two obviously are for all of her books. Obviously I only put out her aesthetically pleasing books. The rest are in her closet. Um, but I just thought they were super cute and I put some of her stuffed animals and little dollies. I just thought it was super cute. And then for this bottom one, we just flipped it so that we could make this bottom one into like kind of a little clothing rack. And I just hung some of my favorite little clothes of hers and then used this as like a little shelf for any of her little like, I don't know, sunglasses. This little cup was mine from when I was a baby. We did her name in Scrabble letters. It's like a little rattle we have. Just, you know, all of her little cute toys. Okay, and here's her closet. So most of this was already here, but we just added a few shelves on the side of this wall. Um, this top one, we just framed this illustration that my friend made us. Just a cute little card that we got. Some baskets. These hold like all of her bows and hats. And then um, these are just some of her clothes that we hung up. And then above, I just put some baskets for any of her swaddles or um, like burp cloths and stuff like that. And then over here, we just hung a few of these little knobs that I got from Ikea and then hung her little robe, uh, my stepmom's old shirt, which I think is so cute. And then just a little blanket that we use, but that is her closet. I did want to show you guys where we put our monitor just because they kind of are eyesores but obviously you want to have them in your nursery so we just got the Vava monitor and um, mounted it onto the wall kind of in this little corner so that it points down to her crib which we have laid her down in our nap a couple times and this works perfectly so I just kind of wanted to show this in case any of you are kind of wondering which uh, monitor to get. Okay, and that is the end of the nursery tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description box below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I love talking to you guys there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.